And a few tall stories of me, Clay. G'day, how you doing? Welcome to the old farm, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Isn't it a real bastard? When you want to go for a hunt, you got no block to hunt on. Or even worse still, your mate calls you up right before you're about to go, and you've got a hunt teed up, and right before you're about to walk out the door, he says, uh, sorry, mate. Farmer says we can't come today for some stupid reason. I could pull me hair out when that one happens. Let's face it, can't afford to do that, can I? Anyway, uh, this week I'm talking about how to get hunting blocks. There are three steps you need to go through, and I'll talk about those a bit later on. I'm also going to talk to a bloke, hopefully tonight, on the uh, webcam, on the internet. Going to talk to Sean. This guy's got more blocks than you can poke a stick at. Let's uh, talk about the do nots. When you rock up to somebody's place and you're asking for permission to hunt on their land, that's a biggie that. Some of the do nots are, do not ever go with your rifle on your, on your sling on your back or carrying a rifle. Never take a firearm onto someone's property. Secondly, never go with your knife on your hip. Somebody rocking up their pack in heat, that's going to really put their uh, hackles up. Don't do that. Never take a dog with you on someone's property. Always keep it in the truck if you've got a dog. So let's look at those three steps on how to get blocks. Asking correctly, adding value, and maintaining. Generally you're going up unannounced without a phone call before. And the reason you're doing that is a phone call, it's very easy for someone just to hang up the phone. You want to have body contact, you want to have facials, you want to have real life timing. It's, it's much harder to say no to someone's face than it is on the telephone. It's much easier just to put the phone down if you're that person that you're contacting. So you're going up there in person for the first time. When you do this, one of the big do's is body language. You've got to keep your head up. This sort of thing's not going to work. You want to be, how are you doing? As you're approaching the person, if you're further away and they can't see you, you're from a distance, maybe he's working on a tractor or something, or he's in the field doing hay. As you see the person for the first time and they see you, your body language is really important. A wave is the first thing you're going to do, but how you do that is also important. A wave like this, I mean, don't do that, that looks like you're yeah, sort of, you know. <laughs> your wave has got to be really slow, gesture. G'day. Even if you can't hear, just a slow wave, keeping your body language passive. Because you're coming onto his property for the first time, and the farmer doesn't know who you are from a bar of soap. You could be a threat. He doesn't know this. So your body language straight away puts him in a relaxed mode to talk to you and be open to talking to you. And let's face it, he's probably pretty busy and his time is precious. And speaking of that, you're taking up his time. So you need to pay for that in some form. So a very small gift is always good. Just doesn't have to be a lot. Could be a, a box of beers or a bottle of wine. G'day, how you doing? Sorry to take up your time. Here's a wee uh, gesture to say thank you for your time. Because there's no such thing as a free lunch. That's what you really need to get in your head when you're asking to hunt on someone's land. It's not free, everything costs. Even this video thing that I'm making for you guys. It's still costing you in a sense because it's costing your attention. If you don't give it your attention, you'll get nothing back from it. Everything costs. So you're going up, you're taking up the farmer's time, you've given her your gift, you're closer, then it's the handshake. Be firm with the handshake, look the man in the eye, and facial expressions should be soft. Don't be hard and like, you know, hey, g'day, how you doing? Just up, g'day, how you going? I'm Clay, nice to meet you. And then state your purpose. Be open, be honest. In the first two minutes, that person's going to decide whether they're going to let you on their property or not. They're going to make a judgment on who you are, how they feel about you coming onto their land. So how your facial expressions are, are very important. When you go into a situation with anybody, say you're in a pub, for instance, and you're asking a bloke uh, where the toilets are. Even your eyebrows matter. That sounds funny, but it's true. You go up to a guy and says, uh, with your eyebrows up, uh, do you know where the toilets are? You go, yeah, mate, uh, straight down there and to the left. If you go there with your eyebrows down, how, how different does that look? And how does it come across? Do you know where the uh, toilets are? 
He's going to think you're some sort of a weird bastard. So facials are really important. So when you're talking to the farmer, keep your face soft. Keep your mouth soft. And keep it really honest. People can smell bullshit a mile away. People know bullshit, man. There's no point going up there son, spinning some yarn. Just be who you are. And uh, it will work out. Now, if he says no, that's okay. You're going up without any expectation, remember? If he says no, remember, no is always negotiable. You can always negotiate no. And if he does say no, you say, okay, thanks for your time, I really appreciate that. I'll pop back some other time, perhaps. And if he says don't do that, then honour that. But generally people don't. And pop back some other time. And situations change, people change, farms change hands, people pass away, they die, and someone else comes along. Everything changes all the time, and another time when you come back again, it will be the right time to say, g'day, can I hunt on your land please? Step two, let's look at that, adding value. It's at the absolute utmost importance. Particularly a lot of teenagers don't quite get this one, and it's a learning curve, and you know, I was the same when I was a teenager. You've got to add value. There is no such thing as a free lunch. You have to pay your way in this life, and the same goes with going on someone's land. There are hundreds of hunters out there that want to hunt that same block. What's going to make you stand out? What's going to make you different? What's going to make the farmer want to choose you compared to the bloke down the road? And the simple thing is, he's going to want the person that adds the most value to his farm, to what he's doing. This can be in any form. It could be Payment of cash, could be box of beers. Farmers really love it though when you help out with stuff. And I mean really help out, make yourself useful. You know, you, you're giving your, your time and your energy to do some of those jobs. It might be a cleaning job, it might be helping out with tailing, it might be uh, helping them do a fence. Just keeping that energy flowing the right way so you actually are showing that you're keen to help out and being keen, not just acting, but really being keen to help out. This will make you win every time over the other hunter that just rocks up there, catches a pig and disappears in his truck. And you will find that if you have this approach, he will also talk to other farmers and other people, and soon you'll be known as a bloke that's helpful, and you'll have more blocks and you can get around. That's the way it works. Step three. Maintain. How to maintain. What does that mean? It means to maintain that relationship with that person whose land you're hunting. And like any relationship, that means you've got to communicate. You've got to connect up. So give them a call. Not always just to ask, can I hunt tomorrow? Give them a call to say, g'day Jack, how's everything going on the farm? Do you need a hand with anything right now, mate? I've got uh, Monday free this week, I can come over. Or, how are you doing? Just thought I'd uh, ring up and say I really appreciated that hunt last week on your place and I've got some uh, pork made into bacon, can I drop it off sometime? Keep that relationship open and connected. Don't just disregard the person because they have given you something. You've got to give something back. So give your time, call them, maintain that relationship. If you don't, somebody else will and you'll lose the block. Maintenance is important and there's a lot of ways around maintaining that you can do, not just by contact. There's a lot of other things you can do, small gestures, like just dropping something off at the farmhouse occasionally when uh, you're passing by. Right, I've made a wee skit up for you guys and girls, and I'm no actor, but this is to portray how not to ask. Anybody home? Can I help you? How you going? Close it, eh? I was driving past and I noticed you got a bit of rooting in the paddock back there and I thought I'd uh, come up and introduce myself and uh, maybe tear into a few pigs, tidy it up for you a bit. Um, keen as. Bruno's alright, aren't you boy? So yeah, what do you reckon? Hmm. Yeah, nah. See ya. Going to talk to Sean. 
This guy's got more blocks than you can poke a stick at. Oh, it's working. It's working now, Gemma. Yeah, it's working, but I actually haven't got my camera sorted, but don't worry about that. Yeah, yeah so anyway, uh, you're getting down to the guts of it, mate. Um, yes. Like, how do you approach it? Oh, I'll just walk up and introduce yourself and maybe try and have a bit of a conversation about something a bit different and then keep talking and just end up with asking if you can go for a hunt. Yeah. Really? And um, if, they meet, if they say yes, we'll hum and har about it. Just let them know that you're more than willing to give them a hand if they need a hand on it with anything or things like that. Has that happened often where you've actually gone up and spoken to the bloke and he has said to you, well, actually, I do need a hand with something and you have given him a hand with it? Uh, yeah, quite often. Like, especially over, like, lambing and tailing, uh, or, like, tailing and carving and that quite often goes, well, I've been to a few this year and uh, just giving them a hand on those days, just calf marking and tailing and stuff. Right. And, uh, yeah. Another farm I just... I offered to do his firewood because he was, I'd been trying to get on it for bloody 18 months and he just wouldn't let me and I just keep testing him because I sort of knew him and uh, just keep testing him and I, I knew his son had moved away so, and his son used to always get his firewood so I just said, uh, oh what if I cut all your firewood for the winter and you mind if I do, your hunt, do the hunting then, save you flying your chopper around shooting the pigs. He said, oh if you want to do the firewood you can have the hunting. I said, yeah. sweet ass. When can I come up? <laughs> <laughs> Squeaky wheel gets the oil. Yeah. You kept on asking, and, you know. I always am a great believer that no is negoti negotiable always, you know. People, um, it was like when I was a young guy your age, and I'd ask a girl out, and she'd say, no, fuck off. I'd always go back and ask again, and, um, you know, sometimes you might get your face slapped nine times, but tenth time you might get a kiss, you know. <laughs> it's the same with trying to get a block. <laughs> I think I got my face slapped a lot more than I ever got kisses, if I'm honest about it. But, <laughs> you know. yeah. So for young hunters that are trying to get blocks, if you could if you could offer one sound piece of advice, what would it be? Just to, if you've got something to offer them, that offer it and um, be more than willing to give them a hand without expecting money in return just for the fact that they were going to let you hunt it. Yeah. Right, yeah. Cool. Okay, well, uh, the camera's actually been rolling the whole time. I'm I knew it would be. <laughs> <laughs> You're not stupid, are you, mate? Nah. Well, that's pretty much this clip done and dusted. I hope you enjoyed it and you get something from it and that it assists you in getting hunting blocks on private land. Stay safe, be cool, look after each other, be good. If you can't be good, be careful. And good luck getting your hunting blocks. <laughs>